people always say they don't have anything to wear while their closet is actually full. And this is how I feel about my film, because I feel like I don't have anything to shoot while my fridge is actually full. And the reason for that is that I don't really have a good overview over all of my film. Currently it's pretty all over the place, so I thought it would be time to Marie Kondo the hell out of my film stash. And I know for sure that probably everything in there will spark joy, so it's not about getting rid of my film, but it is in fact about getting a better organizational system for my film. So for that I will take all of the film that I have in this whole house and put everything on top of this big table and basically separate it into three different piles. One pile of film that will be readily accessible to be shot at any given time that will stay in my office. One pile of film that I plan on shooting sooner or later that will stay in my fridge. And one pile of film that I don't plan on shooting anytime soon that can live in my freezer. So I will be able to enjoy it in the next couple of months or even years. Further, I will also create a film inventory list so I can see which film stock I have, in which quantity, where it is stored and when it will be expired so that I can see everything at first glance. And this is also the reason why I thought it would be fun to bring you along this probably very chaotic and messy ride to organize my film because if you would be interested in organizing your film as well and would be interested to use a film inventory list as well, I will link the one that I created in the description box down below so feel free to use that and get organized. But the other reason why I'm making this video is also because, let's face it, everybody's loving some really good film porn and I think that I might have an interesting kind of stock of film where I have a lot of classic films but also some more exotic films. So if there's anything you see that you would be interested in, that you would like to see me shoot, feel free to leave a comment down below. So without further ado, this will take some time, so let's get started. Oh, well, what can I say? It's a lot. That took some time, but I finally managed to go through all of my film and I cleaned up the mess. But before I will reveal to you how much film I have in total, it's your time to guess. What do you think how much film I have? And much more importantly, do you know how much film you have? I will go into my table now and um, click on calculating the sum. And in total I have... <laughs> In total I have 267 rolls of unexposed film Oof. and I only have like one pair of sneakers that I got from the second hand store like three years ago that I still wear so I guess I kind of know where my priorities in life lay. So I will have to let that information sink in and while I do that let's um, hop into my piles and show you what I actually have. Everything I am going to keep in my office is in these two Japan Camera Hunter film boxes filled with a couple of essentials so that I could store the majority cold. In medium format I have a couple of Ilford films such as some XP2 and some FP4 as well as some expired Kodak Portra 160VC which unfortunately are my last remaining rolls of it. In 35mm I have some Coda Color and some VR400, some TMAX400, some HP5 and I also put a roll of CT Precision in here even though I don't really like shooting 35mm slide film. Now onto my fridge pile. 
I have a bunch of consumer grade films in here such as Kodak Gold or Fuji C200 which I usually throw into my point and shoots. I also have a brick of HP5 which is one of my favorite black and white films and some Lomography films to experiment with, namely Lomo Phantom 8 and Lomochrome Purple. I also have something I am very excited about, which is a mixed pack of Silbersalz 35, containing one roll of 50D, 200T, 250D and 500T. If you are not familiar with Silbersalz, it is a company that is rebranding and repackaging Kodak Vision motion picture film, where you get a whole package including developing and scanning when purchasing a box. In this big pouch we have some old expired Kodak Portra stocks, so I have some 160VC, 160NC and older Portra 800, which I would like to compare to each other but maybe also to some newer Portra. Showing you this roll of Lomo Red Scale feels like I'm a beauty blogger because otherwise the camera won't focus. Further we have my last remaining roll of Sinistil 800T. But luckily I also got this here, which is some Spätleit 800T, which is basically the same thing as Sinister's version, made by Safelight Berlin, a Berlin-based lab. Other than that I have some Acres 100, some Foma Pan and some Sensia in here, and some more of the same film stocks I have already showed you. Regarding medium format film I have some more XP2 and FP4, and something quite interesting, which is this roll of Rolai Crossbird, that you can develop either as C41 or as E6 film. As I said, I don't shoot as much slide film, but I have to say it just hits differently in medium format, so I also got some more Provia. Other than that, we have a pack of Fuji Pro 400H, rest in peace, but for all of you that did not get your hands on some more, I prepared a little auction for you in, yeah, my living room. We are going to open up the auction and today we have a beautiful unopened pack of Fuji Pro 400H and ladies and gentlemen we have a starting bit over there which is one Canon A1 in exchange for this pack of Fuji Pro 400H. Is anybody challenging this bit? We have a Contax T2 over there ladies and gentlemen. A Contax T2 in exchange for this pack of Fuji Pro 400H. Is anybody challenging this bit? Pentax 6.7, Pentax 6.7 ladies and gentlemen. For this pack of Pro 400H, Pentax 6.7 it is. Pentax 6.7 going once. Pentax 6.7 going twice. And we have a Hasselblad x -Pen over there ladies and gentlemen. Hasselblad x -Pen is offered to get this pack of Pro 400H. Hasselblad x -Pen going once. Hasselblad x -Pen going twice. And Hasselblad x -Pen sold in exchange for this beautiful pack of Fuji Pro 400H. You can consider yourself very very lucky that you will get this pack of Pro 400H. And now back to business. My freezer pile is huge and it's a lot of the same things in here, so I will not show you everything but just a rough overview and some of my highlights. Here we have my medium format bag, which also contains four Hasselblad expense, uh, I mean four packs of Pro 400H, some more FP4, some more Velvia and Provia, because why not? My stash of 35mm color negative films, which mostly contains of Coda color 400 and 200. My black and white 35mm stash, a bag of 35mm slide film and some 4x5 sheet film, even though I don't own a large format camera, but owning this film is a good excuse to get one at some point. Here are some honorable mentions from the freezer stash. I have those rolls of tungsten based slide film, more precisely some Ektachrome 64T as well as some Fujifilm 64T. I have not tried any of it yet, but I think it would be nice to see how slow tungsten slide film would hold up against fast color negative tungsten film such as Sinistil. I also got some Fortopan that I have absolutely no idea what it is or where I got it from, but it still has the old Deutsche Mark price on it. Some Aqua APX25, some Aqua Ultra 50 and Marco Food Up 25, some Pan F in two different designs and some T Max P3200 in two different designs and somehow I find it oddly funny to have the same film in different designs from different generations. Be honest with me, do I have too much film? Or is there even such a thing as having too much film? I would be interested to hear how much film you have and how your film freezers, film fridges and film inventories look like. So let me know how much film you have and please tell me that you have just as much as me so I can feel a bit better. And until then, I would say, see you in the next one.